Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to connect your USB device wirelessly. So what I mean by this? So this video is going to be so much amazing. So how can you actually run your devices wirelessly without using any USB device? So first, for the very first time, we need to just configure using the USB cable. After that, we'll just connect without USB device. So how can we actually just use that? So for the very first time, just you have to open your directory and where you have downloaded the Android Studio folder because this requires Android Studio. So you have to go to the Android folder and just go to the Android, Android SDK and you have to just click on the platform tool and just as you can see here over here, here is a adb.executable file because this is the actually emulator which is going to be run so you have to copy this path if you haven't copied it ctrl c and just you have to set this variable to the environmental variable so env so env open so as you can see this environment variable appear and just you have to click on the environment variable and then just you have to select the path over here just click over the path and click new just ctrl b this because as you can see i have already just uh, selected this and I'm gonna delete this previous one and just you as you can click ok 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 so this is how just we have configured the ADB executable so if you haven't configured your Android studio project up to now because this will not work first um, for setting up the uh, dart platform you need to install the Android studio and install all the bunch of dependencies such as Android SDK and a lot of stuff and you have to just set up the path so after that and just how can i just run my uh devices without using wireless so as you can see i have the flutter app running over here so for the for the very first time just as you can see over here on the devices i have not connected my cell phone over here so how can you actually just for the very first time you need to connect using the usb devices so i'll connect for the first time usb device suppose this okay i'm just connecting my device through the data cable for the very first time we need this data cable okay if i click over here as you can see If I just plug in again and then that's all work. Okay, as you can see our phone appear here. And this is possible because I am running using my I am running using my data cable. So if I see what actually is in my mobile phone and I will show you using this. okay this is my actual cell phone as you can see this is just here i have connected to the data cable but this video is not using the data cable so how can you actually do this so you have to go to your command line interface command or just i will zoom this so you can see better for the very first time you just need to use tcp ip or adb because this is how we just set up adb and this can be easily accessible because we have configured the path tcp ip tcp tcp ip and you have to give the port of 5555 this remember one thing this should be always the same if you try to give like 800 this will not work so 555545 and enter now as you can see restarted in a tcp mode so if i go over here because our app again re render and one more thing you have to do is just adb Just you have to uh, click adb connect here in any city connect and your ip address so you have to go to your devices and there you can find the ip address of your cell phone the ip address start from 192.168 in every devices and then you have to just give like this so if i just check my ip address
okay sorry i entered the wrong ip address so you have to just again type this this is my actual ip address so this is how this is connected and now you have to go to your visual studio code so if i show you here as you can see i have my two phone over here why this is showing two because remember one thing i have just connected my device through the data cable and through this adb port which is through the tcp ip so i am gonna ejaculate my uh, data cable so if i remove this there should be only one phone now if i just click over here as you can see we have our only one phone showing over here now we can run our devices through without data cable that means by the help of the usb wireless so i have to run my flutter app run without debugging so i will run this app and show you how this can actually be run without using any data cable i mean wirelessly so this is incredibly amazing so i'll show you in a second after this app gonna launch it will take some time for running this app so this is running and i'll show you in a second i'll just wait it it's running 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 So our app has been successfully run on our devices so i will show you because in the previous video i have shown you how to just show the actual running devices so i'm gonna use that command cmd and just if i zoom over here just s c r c p y run this and this will show as you can see this is my mobile device running here without any data cable so i can take to the next room and from that next room just i'm using this app and you can take the feel of it here and just as you can see i'm just using my phone i'm just moving from one place to another place i can just run from the any range that can just use because the wireless can run up to the certain range like 100 meter or maybe some some distance depend on the situation so thank you very much for watching this video so if you really find this useful so share with everyone and thank you so much for watching till then and i'll see you next time